Good morning. What does the CEO of JAG Kansas do? I get asked that question a lot. And so I thought this week, I'll just kind of take you through my week. This is the week of October 15th. I'm talking to you at about 8.15 Monday morning. It snowed last night uh, here in Topeka, which is where our state office is. And so today, I have a couple of meetings scheduled, then I'm going to hit the road. I'll be out most of this week, which isn't normal. Uh, I try to spend a few days a week at least in the office, but our number one priority this year is meeting with legislators to talk about an additional funding stream for JAG-K, and so I have a goal of meeting with a certain number of legislators before Thanksgiving, and this week I'm meeting with several of them. So we'll take you through this week, and you'll have an idea of what it is I do. And that's what we're doing on this edition of Coffee with Chuck. After a couple of meetings this morning, I am now in Andover in my rental car, waiting for a meeting with a state senator. I'm going to talk to them about how JAG-K is doing, a new pilot project we have going on in the state, and then also just discuss some possible funding opportunities for JAG-K. This senator happens to sit on the Senate Ways and Means Committee. In the meantime, while I was driving, I learned of a personnel issue we have, and so I have my laptop here. I'm not driving, by the way, uh, so I have to do a little bit of work before I go into this meeting. So I will use my phone as a hotspot, connect to the internet, do a little bit of work, and then in about 20 minutes, go into the meeting with the senator. We just had a great I&I &I at Arc City High School. We did it at the Burford Theater, which is an awesome venue. And the Career Association president, Riley, is behind me. And then her sister is also a JAG-K alum, Ashton. And I'm just going to ask Riley to tell you, tell me, tell you about uh, your experience with JAG-K generally, and then a little bit about the I&I &I tonight and the preparation that went into it. So tonight we did an I&I, &and, &I and it was basically just telling us about JAG and our experiences. And it looks like Ashton left you. She did. She's nervous. <laughs> well, that wasn't very fair. I think we should drag her back in here. Okay, there's Ashton. Ashton, tell us about your experience when you were in JAG-K. We can all be successful even though we all come from different backgrounds and we all have different lives at home and things like that. Our success in school and our education and in our careers wasn't defined by any of that. The thing that JAG does, um, they just give you a lot of stepping stones. I, I, it's a really great program, honestly. It's day two of the week and I'm at Wichita West High School. I just went in and visited with Mr. Grady and Mr. Small's uh, classes. Actually, it's Mr. Grady's 910 class and watched a presentation. We'll be back there next week, so hopefully we'll get some video of their I&I. &I. And now I'm on to a uh, meeting with Representative Jim Ward, who is the uh, Democratic leader in the Kansas House of Representatives. I'll give you one guess where I am now. Pratt High School, home of the Greenbacks. Went in and visited Mr. Freitas and Cody James, Jag K student who is getting ready for a regional cross country. And now I'm on my way to Kiowa County. I'm gonna include you guys in it this week. Okay, there's Mr. Mitchell. We are at Kiowa County, and this is the, what hour, seventh hour? Seventh hour. Seventh hour JAG-K class, uh, and school just got out, so they need to leave. But everybody say hello. 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 All right. All right, thanks a lot. You need to rehearse? No, okay, I am with Michelle, who is the president of the Kiowa County JAG-K Career Association and Regionals Secretary? Yes. Regional Secretary. Mm -hmm. Michelle, tell us about your experience with JAG-K and why you like the program. Okay. JAG-K is an amazing program. I've enjoyed it. I've been in it for two years now. enjoyed every minute of it. I mean, I've learned a lot. I've 
life lessons and life skills and it helped me improve on my future and I've really enjoyed it. Everybody comes together and everybody is nice to each other and they just, it's amazing. We had a great I and I at Stafford. Some of the officers are here. I'm just gonna send the camera down the line. Tell me what you think about the evening and tell us your thoughts about JAG-K. There you go. And say your name, say your oh. name. Uh, hello, my name's uh, King Sanders. I thought yeah. this evening was great uh, and I absolutely uh, love this program. I'm Angel Berge. I think that tonight went really well, and I love JAG. It has helped me through a lot. Oh, oh. <laughs> Dylan with the grab. Uh, I'm Dylan Green, and tonight went as planned. It was very good. I'm Tomorland Churchill. I thought this night went really well, and I love JAG. There you have it. Even with the dropped phone, I think we got it. So, way to go, Stafford. <laughs>
it, it was, I was probably just being frantic. Yeah, it, it was nice. All right, all right. Now we had someone photobomb. Come back in. <laughs> okay, tell us your name. I am Lexi Amos. Okay, Lexi. Tell us about tonight's I and I. It was so much fun. So many people came and the food was delicious. <laughs> all right, and tell us about Jack. Hey, wait, Jace, where are you going, man? Um, it's just, it has taught me a lot about what I wanted to do in my future. Um, I don't know, it's just a great program for all of us in high school. All right, and so would you say the best part of Jack K is coffee with Chuck? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Every, yeah. <laughs> yeah all right, definitely. that's why Holcomb's now my favorite program. Oh. <laughs> all right, I'm at the Holcomb I and I, and these folks have something to say. Who are we? Holcomb Jack K! Who are we? Holcomb Jack K!